Imagine traveling back millions of years before cities, before fire, before humanity itself, a time when our ancestors were not yet human, but something in between, caught in the long, mysterious path from ape to man. Today, we uncover that journey, from the ancient proconsul, to the powerful Homo Heidel. Our story begins around 20 million years ago in the forests of Africa with a creature called proconsul. It wasn't quite an ape, and it wasn't quite a monkey it was something in the middle. Picture a chimp-like face with a gorilla-like body, around three feet tall. It walked on all fours, lived in the trees and had a big brain for its time. It wasn't the direct ancestor of humans, but a cousin from which the human line would eventually branch. Millions of years later, around four million years ago, came Australopithecus. It was a bit shorter than Proconsul, but had longer arms and legs, showing a hint of what was to come. With the plike arms, it could still climb trees, but with human-like legs, it could now walk upright and travel further on the ground. This small but vital step changed everything. Standing tall meant seeing farther traveling greater distances and eventually, thanks to the freed up hands, using tools, and then around 2.8 million years ago, Homo habilis appeared. The name means handyman in Latin, and for good reason. These ancestors started making simple stone tools, no artwork yet, no complex language, but the ability to cut meat, crack open bones, and shape the world around them. This marked the dawn of intelligence. Then came Homo erectus, meaning upright man. They were taller, stronger, and braver than their predecessors. Homo erectus tamed fire, hunted in groups and crafted better tools. They also left Africa spreading across the world. Fire provided warmth, protection and cooked food, unlocking the energy needed for bigger brains. Humanity was no longer just surviving. It was advancing. Finally, we reach Homo Heidelbergen seas, our most recent common ancestor with Neanderthals. They lived around 600,000 years ago, had even bigger brains and were more powerful hunters. They built shelters hunted large animals and showed the first clear signs of cooperation and culture. From them would emerge both the Neanderthals and us, Homo sapiens. So there you have it, the incredible journey from Proconsul to Homo Heidelberg. It took millions of years, countless adaptations and a few lucky breaks. But here's the thing, are we really the end of the story, or are we just another step in a much greater journey? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting adventures through time.